Hi, in today's video, I will post for you a uh, basic information about Dynamo. It's a uh, uh, very short videos for uh, each topic, and I will try to make them uh, as a sequence and uh, continuous as a topic. Each, each topic continue uh, the one previously. Uh, I will start from the basic, very basics, by making uh, uh, points and then lines and then circles and rectangles and then make the 2D shapes into 3D surfaces or 3D solids. And uh, for example, today the, the main topic or the basic topic will be points, and I will show you the two types of points available here here in, in, in Dynamo. So the first type is just you can go ahead and write points, and you can see here the point by coordinate. And there's lots of points here. I know, yeah, I know, and a little bit confusing and intimidating, but don't worry. Usually we're going to use this one, or most of the work we're going to use this one. So if you hit on that, uh, you can get this, the first type of points, and it's points by coordinate, I know, as the name says, but it's been called here as an abstract point. And the abstract point is basically will allow you to create the geometry you want here in the Dynamo only, and it doesn't reflect back in the Revit environment. Here I have a conceptual file open. So, lovely thing in here, if you just hover here or just click that if you want to fix this, you're going to see what's happening here. It's a point X, Y, and Z, and maybe you're wondering in your head why there is a values here and you didn't feed anything about that. That's a lovely thing about Dynamo. It's, it's assumed that uh, there's a default values been set uh, for you by the creation of this, so whether you entered the value you want or you didn't, it doesn't give you a valid uh, an invalid message or error message because you create something. It has, this has been stored, so zero, zero, zero for all. And as you see, Revit, uh, actually, sorry, Dynamo, has created that point in here. Anywho, I'm just gonna unlock this. That's the first point. Uh, the second type of point, we call it reference, reference point. And the reference point here again, by coordinate, and you might notice, you may notice here that this point, if let me allow me to delete that, and you may notice that this point is actually uh, x, y, z, and it also have the default value, but it's created a point in here in the conceptual mass or in the model itself, and there is a copy of it built or based here in the Dynamo itself. Anyway, uh, so whether whether any type of point you're going to use, I'm going to put them in both in, uh, in front of you, like here. Uh, they all work the same way, that's that we call it the abstract point, and this we call it the reference point. Uh, anyway, this is the point, and how we control the values or the location of that is in a different way, actually. So you can just go ahead and, and write number here, and in the number, it allows you to get a specific number you want, like zero, like five, or whatever. So if I give this to the x, you know, now we have x uh, value for it, and it's push it as a 5x, and then 0, the rest will stay in the same uh, values. And you see there's a lot of digits here, that's why the number issue. Or you can go a number slider, and the slider, as the names goes, if you connect that to the y, and it's allowing when you change to have like a, any, any type of number here with its uh, digits, that's the number and the other thing and the other other method is uh, again if you go slider you can go ahead and use integer and in the integer if you push it on I'll just maximize it by 10 so the minimum is 0 and each step here is 1 so uh, it's really really interesting here if you push that down and you push that here you're going to increase the amount of z or the z value as you can see it's going up and it's uh, each 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 push in the slider it's a clear number that's the good thing of the integer it doesn't have the digits that you can find it here as you can see anyway so those are the three methods there's another way if you double click here we're going to call this or it, it's you can call that a code code block and uh, in, uh, in this method in this method uh, I'll just select this guy and copy him and paste him here and deselect him like such and I'm going to return to the default value of zeros as you can see that's a lovely way 
because uh, again if you come here and add uh, the amount that you want let's say uh, three and then a semicolon here and then you hit enter and then let's say uh, three again and semicolon and then zero and then this is what what happened it's actually create a port here for you and so you as if you write three points instead of all those and you just connect them to the guy here as you can see and you know that's a three by three so the code block is really nice it have lots of functions inside uh, I think you need to start up sorry you end, to end up by a semicolon and then you hit enter that's they're gonna create a new line for you and from that they're gonna create ports for you that you can you can actually allow to click those things you might be see that if I'm zooming in and out I'm just basically zooming in on those nodes while this geometry is still fixed if you want to change this just hit in here and you see that's really grayed out or faded out when you zoom in you see your points uh, you can go ahead and rotate around that with the right right click of the mouse and when you like it just go back here and that's it so that's it guys that's basically the how we have the points and the difference between the type of points and how we control their inputs and as you see the outputs is just those points has been here as their uh, abstract point that are available only here in Dynamo. anyway thank you very much for watching and have a